this is all pigment loss. This is all pigment loss. And I was about your, your complexion. And the rest of my family is the same, you know, same shade as you. Barbara Hamilton walks us down memory lane up until the age of 25 when she was diagnosed with vitiligo. Part of your face is, is blotchy, you know. And sometimes it's really, you get a butterfly face, you know, a raccoon around the eyes. Vitiligo is an autoimmune disease that kills off the pigment cells in the body, sometimes only leaving a few traces of what used to be. You know, this is the color that's left. Doctors told her there's no cure. We suffer with depression, we suffer, suffer mentally, emotionally. Valerie Molyneux is the president of Vit Friends, a vitiligo support group she founded since there wasn't much support around when she was diagnosed. 20 years ago, seeing a small dot, just on my left thumb and rubbed it, nothing would happen and, oh, wait a minute, it's on this hand. And you rubbed it, it wouldn't go away. And she says with no options that worked for her, it took a serious toll emotionally. I had just bought myself a brand new silver Kia, and I thought it best to drive it to Jamaica Bond. It was not for fun and games. There's water there. I didn't want to live with blotchiness or patches or, I wanted my milk chocolate back. Unfortunately, we can't cure vitiligo, but we can better control it. Dr. David Rosemarin, the vice chair of education and research at Tufts Medical Center, says they're now in trials of an FDA approved cream that could bring back the pigment that vitiligo strips away. And this medicine tells the immune system to calm down and stop attacking the pigment cells. It then allows the pigment cells to repopulate and migrate back into those white patches over time. Dr. Rosemarin says they are already seeing incredible results. About half the patients who use the cream at the year mark will get 75% or more of the pigment back on the face and 50% or more of the pigment back on the whole body. Barbara and Valerie say this is the breakthrough they've been waiting decades for. To hear this news, words cannot begin to express because I've had stories from mothers talking about the suffering of their children. Any mother would want a cure for their child. And so here's this amazing, groundbreaking opportunity, first in the history of this condition. A sign of hope for many who've been struggling in their own skin. But for Valerie, she says she's come too far to turn back now. It took me a while to get accustomed to this girl. I really can't touch this now. I love her just the way she is. And so I would encourage, support, help, pay for anyone that needs the treatment. But I'm going to ride life out this way. Yeah, it's important to note that vitiligo is not contagious. It's more common if you have a family member who has it. But doctors say it can really happen to anyone at any time. The trials for the treatment called Opsolera are still happening, so there's still more to learn about it. But Dr. Rosemarin says some patients saw improvements within two to three months. The next big hurdle here, he says, seeing if insurance will eventually cover the treatment.